ओके गाइस आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ यू हैवंट डन इट हिट नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ फ्लूइड मैकेनिक्स बाय मंसन एंड योंग एंड दिस इज द सिक्स्थ एडिशन सो आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम 1.1 फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर 1 and the problem says that the force f of the wind blowing against the building is given by this equation and in this equation uh, v is the wind speed rho is the density of the air a is the cross sectional area of the building and cd is constant known as the drake coefficient so we are required to determine the dimension of the drake coefficient so now we are given this equation f equals to cd times rho v square area divided by 2 now 1 over 2 is constant we have to find the dimensions for the drake coefficient and cd is the drake coefficient so we can write that cd is equal to 2 times f divided by rho v square into a now we know that the dimensions of the force is we can write that force is equal to mass time acceleration so its dimensions will be equal to so for m we have to write capital m and acceleration is meter per second square so that will be meter for for meter meter is the length so length t to the power minus 2 so these are the dimensions of the force now the density is uh, mass per unit volume so again Uh, we can write that the dimension of the density so for mass we have to write capital m and for v we have to write l to the power minus 3 since volume is meter cube and similarly v is the wind speed this capital v this is the wind speed which is given in the statement so we can write that v capital v is the meter per second this is the uh, wind speed so meter per second is l to the power uh, t minus 1 and since we are given v square so this is v square so we have to take squares for both of these so v square dimensions are l to the power 2 t to the power minus 2 and uh, now for area for area is area is uh, meter square so we can add this is l to the power plus 2 so now we need to substitute all these dimensions in this cd equation so this is cd and we need to forget about the constant too so the dimensions of the force is m l t to the power minus 2 and then the dimensions of the density is m l to the power minus 3 then the dimensions of the velocity square this is velocity square which is l t to the power minus 1 or we can say that this is uh, l square t to the power minus 2 let me write it is l square and t to the power minus 2 and then area is l to the power plus 2 so now we we need to multiply the similar dimension this is l l and l right so we can write that this is this will be um, m l t to the power minus 2 and this will be m and then l to the power minus 3 so the power of the l will add up right so this will minus this is minus 3 Plus two and plus two, and t to the power minus two. So l to the power minus three plus two. So this is minus three plus four. So this will give us l to the power plus one. So this will be l to the power plus one. And now, if we bring these uh, dimensions to the numerator, so the the signs will become opposite. So we will have m l t to the power minus two. and then we will have m to the power minus 1 l to the power minus 1 and t to the power plus 2 and now we need to multiply the uh, corresponding dimensions that is m with m l with l and t with t 
So now their powers will add up. So this is m plus 1, this is l plus 1, so m plus 1 minus 1, l plus 1 minus 1, and t minus 2 plus 2. So now as we can see that uh, m to the power plus 1 minus 1, this will become m to the power 0, l to the power 0, and t to the power 0. So from this we conclude that the uh, rate coefficient is dimensionless. This is dimensionless. Now the next pro, uh, exercise is exercise 1.6 and it is said that if P is pressure, V is velocity and rho is fluid density, what are the dimensions in the MLT system? So for A, we have pressure divided by density. Now we know that uh, pressure is force per unit area and further we know that force is m into acceleration. So the dimensions of the force that is mass L t to the power minus 2. So we can write it here that is m L t to the power minus 2 and area is L to the power 2. So now if I bring this L square to the numerator, so its uh, power will become negative, so we will have M L T to the power minus 2, L to the power minus 2. So this will give us M L, the, the powers will add up. So this is plus 1 and minus 2, and this is T to the power minus 2. So this is M L to the power minus 1, T to the power minus 2. So this is the dimensions of the pressure and we know that the density is uh, mass per unit volume so this will be uh, the dimensions will be the mass is capital M and volume is L to the power minus 3 so now let's let's substitute it in this equation that is pressure so pressure is m l to the power minus 1 t to the power minus 2 and the density is m l to the power minus 3 so now if you bring all the these dimensions to the numerator so the sign will become negative again so we will have m plus 1 l to the power minus 1 t to the power minus 2 into m to the power minus 1 and L to the power plus 3. Now we need to add up the power so that is M plus 1 minus 1 L to the power minus 1 plus 3 and T to the power minus 2. So this gives us this M to the power 0 L to the power plus 2 and T to the power minus 2. So these are the dimensions of the pressure divided by the fluid density. Now in part B we have uh, P V into rho. So V is velocity. So for part B, for part B we have P V and rho. So now again we have the uh, dimensions for the pressure. This is the dimensions for the pressure. So we can write that this the dimension is equal to so for pressure we have to write ml to the power minus 1 t to the power minus 2 and for velocity we have for velocity it is meter per second so meter per second is l t to the power minus 1 so this is l t to the power minus 1 and density is this is density ml to the power minus 3 this is m So now again uh, we need to multiply the similar dimension that is mass with mass, length with L with L and T with T. So this is, so the powers will add up. So this is M to the power plus 1 and this is M to the power plus 1. So plus 1 plus 1, L to the power minus 1, this is minus 1 and this is plus 1 and this is minus 3. So minus 1 plus 1 and minus 3 and then we have t to the power minus 2 minus 1 
so m 1 plus 1 is plus 2 this is uh, minus 1 plus 1 will become 0 so l to the power minus 3 and t is t to the power of minus 3 so these are the dimensions of the product of the pressure velocity and the density now for part c we have uh, p divided by rho v square so c p divided by rho v square now again we have the dimensions of the pressure this is the dimensions of the pressure so that is m plus 1 l to the power minus 1 and t to the power minus 2 the dimensions of the density these are the dimensions of the density m l to the power of minus 3 and then this is velocity square so velocity to the power 1 is l t to the power minus 2 so velocity square will be l square t to the power minus 2 so this is l square t to the power minus 2 so now we need to multiply the similar dimensions uh, we can say that the similar uh, parameters so this is m plus 1 l to the power minus 1 t to the power minus 2 and in the numerator we have m to the power plus 1 l to the power minus 3 again the powers will add up so l to the power minus 3 plus 2 and t to the power minus 2 so this gives us m plus 1 l to the power minus 1 t to the power minus 2 this is m to the power plus 1 and l to the power minus 3 plus 2 so this is l to the power minus 1 and t to the power minus 2 now again uh, we need to bring these dimensions to the numerator so that will be plus 1 l to the power minus 1 t to the power minus 2 and then we have m to the power minus 1 l to the power plus 1 and t to the power plus 2 now again if you multiply the similar uh, dimensions that is the similar parameters so that is the power will add up so m to the power plus 1 and minus 1 l to the power minus 1 and plus 1 and t to the power minus 2 plus 2 so this is equal to we can say that m to the power 0 l to the power 0 and t to the power 0 so this means that pressure divided by rho v square this ratio pressure divided by rho v square this is a dimensionless quantity so i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe ingenious academy if this helps in your learning